guys it's leather plug here back again with another video for you guys so as you guys can see by the title you already know what i'm about to be doing yes i'm going to be showing you guys how to make an advanced intro for your youtube channel so if you guys would like to see how i got to make that intro please just keep watching okay so yeah let's get right into the video so i'm going to be showing you guys how to make this intro in four parts okay so let's go into my photos right here and this will be the first part i'll be showing you guys okay great so for your intro you'll be needing a background obviously like this okay so to achieve this background we're gonna go into fonto you click on that little icon right here with the camera then you click on plain image you could either choose the black or the white all the way to the top i'm gonna click on the white one then we're gonna click on color and i'm gonna put it to the cream right here great you apply that so now we're gonna click on that little box at the top that says 2048 times 2048 we're gonna click on that customize it we're gonna change the number to 1280 and 720 done so now we're going to click on that arrow that is pointing upwards all the way to the top on your right side we're going to click on that then we're going to click on use good so now we have our background to add a text we're going to click on the screen click on add text and obviously i'm going to put my name leo the plug but we do not want that font so we're going to change the font Chickle, yeah, chickle regular. Okay, I'm gonna click on done. Add an outline and like a shadow at the back. We're gonna click on style, go to stroke, adjust the width to 10, and then you're gonna click on the color black or any type of color that you guys would like to put. Okay it's your choice so for the shadow we're gonna click on style and as you guys can see all the way to the bottom there is like a a a a a a a a a <laughs> we're gonna click on the third one okay to get the shadow if you guys would like to adjust the shadow all you have to do is move around the x right here which goes left and right and the y which goes up and down okay we're gonna put it like this Great. the size we're gonna adjust the size a little bit because it's a little too small we're gonna make it a little bigger okay like right here great so we're gonna put it right here okay that's great so now we're gonna add another text with my name again Leo the plug but we're gonna change the font into another font. Damian. Okay, click on done and we're gonna do the same step like the first one, okay? Go back into style and we apply the same steps. So I'm not gonna repeat myself. So as you guys can see, I did the opposite for this one because I didn't want it to be the same. Okay, so we're gonna adjust the size a little bit, a little bit smaller than the other text because it needs to go right here in the middle like that okay great so now we have our background so we're going to click on this little arrow that is pointing upwards all the way to the bottom on your right side and then you scroll up a little bit and you click on save okay i already have the background so i'm not going to be saving it to my phone again okay now we're going to go into vllo what i say Velo. I don't know how to pronounce it but yeah we're gonna go in here and we're gonna go on create video we're gonna take our background then we're gonna click on this little arrow at the top on your right side click it again now we're in you could click on this little box right here and you could adjust to how many seconds you would like it to be but I'm gonna leave it at four because I don't want it to be too long now we're gonna go back to the beginning great now you would like to add your pictures and your little butterflies you're gonna click on p 
pip right here pip <laughs> then we're gonna click on image at the side and we're gonna add our images okay this is the first image we're gonna adjust the size put it at the side right here you would like your picture to be the same way on the other side we're gonna scroll all the way to the back and then we're gonna click on duplicate and we're gonna flip that one so then we're gonna move it to the other side right here and we're gonna click on done you would like it to be for the whole video so you're gonna scroll it all the way to the end then you just click on the picture again and you scroll it all the way to the end great done so we're gonna go on animation you could either zoom up zoom out you have different types of options well three because the others are locked you have to pay for those but you could fade it either zoom in or zoom out we're gonna zoom out we're gonna do the same for the other one zoom out okay as you guys can see zoom out okay but when it's ending we're gonna click on out and then we're gonna click on zoom out again no, we're gonna click on zoom in and for the other picture we're gonna do the same zoom in great done done so it has to look like this a little bit great we're gonna add the middle picture now open it up a little bit then we're gonna pull it all the way to the end so it should look like this great now you would like to add your little butterflies right so we're gonna click on the butterfly. You guys could go on the internet and search up butterflies PNG and you'll obviously find one. Really easy to find these butterflies. So then we're gonna adjust the size a little bit down and we're gonna put it at the side right here. Then we're gonna put it all the way for the whole video. We're gonna duplicate it and flip the second one so we could go on the other side right here. You just adjust the butterflies a little bit to your liking and that's it and this is how your video is supposed to look great as you guys can see my pictures are like cropped out and it's outlined and it also has like a shadow behind how i got that done i used this application we're gonna just come out we're gonna go on bazaar right here this application is the best click on it i'm gonna show you guys a little demo i really show you guys but i'm just gonna show you guys how we look this was one that i already did in order for you to do that you just click on edit and you go into eraser and you can erase all around and then to get the outline after you go into outline right here it's going to outline your picture automatically as you guys can see all you have to do is Put it to what size you would like the outline to be shadow you click on shadow obviously and then you could put like a little shadow you guys can see it's moving but you don't want it to be like too square so you're going to click on blur also so it could be like a little blurry like that so let's get back into the video we're going to go back here and as you guys can see let's go back to this it has like a little sprinkle and it also has that like record frame right there so yeah we're gonna add that for you to add those you need to click on motion stickers you go into sticker at the side and i already have them in recents but i think for you you'll have to search in all of these uh, little box right here that says new vlogs since i already use it i'm going to go into recents i'm gonna click on this right here add the little sprinkle i'm gonna put it for the whole video done go back to the beginning click on sticker and then we add the little frame with the little record at the top above on your left side done so it should look like this great now that this first part is done you could click on that little arrow at the top i love when my videos has good quality so i'm gonna change the frame rate to 60 fps and the resolution to best then we're gonna click on export i'm not gonna click on it because i already have it saved i'm going to be showing you guys how i got the second part done which will be this we're gonna be adding this little instagram 
thing right there so how i got that done first thing you're gonna want to do is screen record your instagram and then you go on the internet and you download whatever type of iphone you have or whatever phone you're using to screen record your instagram that's the type of frame you're going to be looking for okay so i looked for iphone xr png which will give you like a, a transparent frame you know so that you could add your video at the back of it once you have that you're gonna also be needing this little green screen okay we're gonna go quickly on youtube i'm gonna show you guys how i got that instagram follow button green screen great so as you guys can see there's plenty of options i think i clicked on this second one because it gave us it gave me the best uh, quality and i screen recorded it and then i saved it and i cropped it from my album and that's how i got it here so these are the three things you're going to be needing and also a video so now we're going to be going into video leap we click on the little plus sign then we're going to we're going to add our background add project and you could adjust to how many seconds you would like it to be i'm just going to put it at three so now we're going to go into mixer right here at the bottom and we're going to add this green screen instagram follow button right here in order for you to get rid of the green screen we're gonna go into chroma and you see right here you move it so we could go on the green part and then you click on intensity and you could adjust that so you could get rid of like the green surroundings as much as you could you're not gonna do it too much because it's gonna erase the whole thing so now when i click on it it's gonna look like this see you would like to add your face into that circle right so we're gonna go back and we're gonna click on mixer again we add the little video or picture whatever you would like to add then we're gonna go on mask we're gonna click on radio right here as you guys can see it gave me like a round circle i'm gonna fix it like this good and then we're gonna just come out of this then we click on it and we can add it right here we're gonna put it right here okay so it should be looking like this click on it again we're gonna open it a little bit more like that i'm done Play. it should be looking like this okay let me open it a little bit more just it like that great so now it should be like that great but as you guys can see it's moving so when it goes down we're gonna crop it onto there and also the video great so it should be looking like this great so now you want to add like a little animation to it so in we're gonna do like a little we could do like a scale down and then out we could do like a little flicker great so if you guys want to go on like the green screen you just click that little bubble right here with my face so the bottom you click on it and it changes to whatever you want to go on okay so now we're on the green screen and we're gonna add a little animation also so let's see how it comes out play see and boom it's gone but as you guys know for video leap you cannot add too much overlay so we're gonna just have to export this part which you can click on right at the top which i already did and it should look like this this is it okay and then i'm gonna be showing you guys how to add the phone so now we're gonna go back to new project plus then we're going to click on the video that you just saved so now to add your screen record and also your phone frame we're gonna click on mixer again click on the screen record you can put a little sideways however you want it 
and as you guys can see it's really long so i'm gonna put it i'm gonna fast forward it a little bit so it should look like this we're gonna add a little animation to make it move a little in we're gonna do scale down and out we're gonna do scale up so it should look like this great so now we're going to add we're going to click on mixer again and add our little frame phone frame onto your screen record but we're going to fix it a little bit like this open it up and boom then we're going to pull it onto our video good like that so we're going to do the same animation for your frame click on scale down and then out we're going to click on scale up so it should look like this so great you export that part again and this is how it should look it should look like this so now we're gonna go back into Velo create new video we're gonna click on the part that we just did so what you're gonna want to do is peep and add your little butterflies like i showed you guys and put it to the other side like that you put it for the whole video click on the other one the whole video done and then look like this so now we're going to add a text i'm going to add a text it's me play at the play we're gonna change the font and we're gonna put it to Arial bold italic done let's move it a little to see where it could fit right here put it down a little bit great so it should look like this put the put whole video then you go into motion sticker reasons you add the sprinkle again done whole video and then you add the record the recorded frame great so it should look like this okay for the text so let's put a little animation to that we're gonna do like a fade in and a fade out great so it should look like this see great so that's the second part we're going to be doing the third part right now which would be this okay so i'm not going to be showing you guys how to add back the phone and the video and whatnot it's easy to do i'm just going to be showing you guys how to add the snapchat okay we're going to go back into video leap new project click on the plus button you click on your background and then you click on mixer you add it's the same thing you could go on youtube and all you have to do is search up snapchat add friend button green screen and it's going to show you and then you screen screen record it same way how you did for your instagram you could put it right here wherever you want it to go i'm going to put it right here and it's noisy, but we don't want all of that we're gonna fast forward it a little because it's really long speed and for you to add your you could go on your snapchat and all you have to do is screenshot this little piece right here you adjust it and you fix it to your liking but before you do that let's crowd this a little bit like this like i said for the green screen we're going to click on our green screen and we're going to go into chroma you move it to the green part and then you, you change the intensity you adjust it to your liking until you, you're no longer seeing the green surroundings then and that's how you add your snapchat so you know what's coming next you're going to be adding your phone at the side you can also add like a picture but for this part you'll have to save it because like i told you guys before video leap does not allow you to save plenty of overlays so yeah unless if you would like to pay for it 
but I don't think you would like to pay for that. So yeah, let's go. You save it and it should be looking like this. Great. So now we're gonna go into a villa again, create your video. And then we're gonna add our little clip, which is this, okay? So now you would like to add like, as you guys can see, the Snapchat is a little bit small. So you could also add it back if you would guys would like to add it back. You guys could just go on motion sticker. You don't have to go on you. You don't have to go on Google to search up a Snapchat PNG. No, we're just going to go into what can we go into let's go into recent they already have snapchat logos twitter logos and they also have um, instagram logos too so you go add it right here a little bigger right here done and then you could add a text real bold italic i'm gonna squeeze it down a little bit and we're gonna leave it right here like that done so it should be looking at you see and you guys could also add a little picture you go into pap and you add your photo to the side i'm gonna put it a little sideways like this great and then you could add back your sprinkle your little sprinkle twinkle stars you know and then the camera record frame there okay and you save that and it's going to look like this and boom baby so now we're i'm going to show you guys how to do this last part right here it's basically the same steps as the first one but all you have to do is add the subscribe button so i'm not going to be showing you guys that back over again i'm just going to be showing you guys from here okay so we're going to take that video we're going to stay in a video leap and no this is not video leap we're going to go into video leap click on the plus and we're going to take that same video this one to add your subscribe button you're going to want to go on youtube you search up youtube subscribe button green screen and it's gonna give you plenty of options so you guys could choose we're gonna go on mixer we're going to add it then we're gonna go into chroma green intensity okay great intensity Good. right here so now we're going to adjust it to the size that you would like it to be like this see so that's when you're going to export that video to your gallery and when you're exporting please turn it all the way to 4k so you guys can get a good quality and also to 60 that's if you have space and then you click on that little arrow that points down click on photos okay it should be looking like this great so now we're going to switch it and it's supposed to be looking like this so we're gonna go into a vlo a vlo <laughs> and we're gonna look for the video okay where is it there it is and we're going to add our little butterfly like onto here okay pip image butterfly we're gonna put it down a little bit like this put it right to the top and great it should look like this but your butterfly you're gonna add like a little animation to that like a little fade in and fade out not nothing too high like this great and then you're gonna add your little sprinkle stars and your record frame okay great so it should be looking like this pretty and then the final step would be to put them all together to add the song which i put there
into eye moving and i already added it here but since i'm screen recording my phone it doesn't want me to go in the application but i use both when you go in here you can go on youtube you download any song of your choice and then you click on downloads it doesn't want me to click on download since i'm screen recording and then you're gonna click on the song you're gonna click on the little three dots and then you're gonna press share you're gonna share it to iMovie you're gonna add it and when you're going to add it it's going to say uh, add movie or more you're gonna click on more and then you're gonna click on audio only so then it's going to pop up like this this little blue line right here and then you could adjust the song how you want it you can even click on it split it and move it to another section however you want it okay you could even do that for your videos too for youtube because that's what i do and then we're gonna click the arrow back since i didn't want it to be clicked and it should be video and you save it in 4k okay 